lot of people, the Lord has spoken with me today about what is coming to the earth. Today in the afternoon, the Lord spoke with me about what is coming to the earth. In the first conversation, someone had cooked this and is in a saucepan with some soup, with, with some gravy rather, and he is carried on the head. He is going to sell the beef that he has cooked. And then one person comes with a huge bunch of money, money that is tied using a rubber band, a lot of money to buy. And then another person brings another huge amount to buy. And the Lord puts me also there trying to buy. So many people coming with big chunks of money trying to buy, trying to buy the huge chunks of money, bundles of money trying to buy, each one struggling to buy that piece. I mean, I mean it was a few pieces of beef that were there being sold. And then even one of the questions that are asked, people ask, is that really beef or it's another animal? So he says, no, it is beef. So they were struggling to buy. They were struggling to buy. Many people are struggling to buy with a lot of money tied in a heap, equivalent probably 100,000 shillings, Kenyan shillings, struggling to buy, fighting to buy, each one wants to buy. No, it is me buying. No, it is me. They were struggling. I saw the struggle. The Lord put me there. I struggled with them. And then after that, again, the Lord took me to the bank. And there's a lot of people struggling at the bank to get money. They were struggling to get money in the bank. But there was no money. So one of them had written a check of, I don't know, a million or millions. And he was told, you have no money. There's no money. We can't give you. And then another, there was no money in the bank. And then people. One of them got a little money from the bank, the one who managed to get. He put in his black bag, a black bag, like a pass. And he walked out with this team of people. So the Lord makes the two copies of Yahweh follow them. And then as he goes, he cuts a corner, thugs pounce on him, thugs. But there were some other thugs on the roof coordinating the entire group that was down. Thugs pounce on him and take away the money. And money poured down, and with some little coins poured down, to the situation right there. And then at the same time, now there was a vehicle that was parked of thugs, parked blocking the road, the oncoming traffic. And then that vehicle decides to turn and drive anti-traffic against traffic to face the oncoming traffic, looking for vehicles to where he lay. Those were thugs. So the Lord, in, by voice, previously said that he is going to downgrade the status of the earth. And so there is a horrendous judgment coming to the earth. There is a big depravity and scarcity coming to the earth. A big scarcity and inflation. It looks like inflation. That big amounts of money for buying a small thing, that talks about inflation. The Lord is bringing from the storehouse of heaven a big inflation, famine, and hunger. A big inflation. That means what you use to earn to bring bread on the table is now not going to be enough to bring bread on the table because you have to take a huge amount to buy some little piece of meat, piece of bread. That is called inflation, hyperinflation. That is what the Lord has shown me, hyperinflation. We know that the greatest hyperinflation does indeed take place, does indeed take place in the great tribulation. When the heavens will be shut and there will be no rain and the price of food will go up and there will be mayhem and diseases and plague. So we know that the greatest inflation takes place inside the tribulation, the great tribulation. But the Lord has shown me now that a lot of money for buying nothing. People be struggling for services and goods. 
people will be struggling for food. And that speaks a lot. That could also tell us that probably at that time the heaven are shut. There will be a drought. A drought that will bring the famine and hunger. So the Messiah is coming. The Lord spoke twice. The first conversation, someone cooking meat, carrying a huge saucepan on the head, going to sell. And then people carry huge bulk of money trying to buy a piece of meat from what he has cooked. And they are struggling to get a piece of it. It's not easy to get a piece. I'm giving you the details, the graphic details. And then, at the same time, they take me into the bank and some people, they're not overcrowded. The bank was overcrowded. Very overcrowded and people are struggling. And some people have written checks of two million, one million looking for their money. And they're told there is no money. There is no money. Not that there is no money. So one of them comes out, but he, another gets a little bit and puts the one who was able to get successful in getting part of his money. Puts in a purse, a black one, and he comes out, tags take out from him. And there are tags also parked in vehicles. There will be lawlessness. There will be severe lawlessness. A lot of murders. A lot of gunfire from tags. There will be a severe situation coming to the earth. That is coming to the earth. There is a severe situation coming to the earth. The Lord has spoken. The Messiah is coming. Those who are wise, you know that this earth is temporary, that everything you have on this earth is temporary. You will be put to shame if you trust in your wealth of the earth. You will be put to horrendous shame. Look at what is happening to Australia now. You will be put to shame, the bigger shame, when people enter heaven and for you are entering hell. The messengers that prepare the way are here. The Lord is speaking nonstop on a daily basis, several times a day. The Lord is really trying to reach out to your souls. But again, those who trust onto the wealth of this earth, if the devil has lied to you to trust onto this life here, the wealth of this earth, look now what the Lord has spoken today. He's coming to rubbish all. Those who are wise, they will hearken to the word of the Lord. They will hearken to the voice of the Lord. They will prepare to see Jesus be holy and prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Thank you.